Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. It is Friday, November 1st, which is the date of All Saints Day, and the reading, Berthold von Schneck, S-C-H-E-N-K, 1895-1974. What we then view death in the light of the communion of saints and holy communion, there is no helpless bereavement. My loved one has just left me and has gone on a long journey, but I am in touch with her. I know there is a place where we can meet. It is the altar. How it thrills me when I hear the words of the liturgy, Therefore, with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven, for I know that she is there with that company of heaven, the communion of saints with the Lord. The nearer I come to my Lord in holy communion, the nearer I come to the saints, to my own loved ones. I am a member of the body of Christ I am a living cell in that spiritual organism, partaking of the life and other cells, sharing in the body of Christ himself. There's nothing fanciful or unreal about this. Indeed, it is the most real thing in my life. Of course I miss my loved one. I should miss her if she took a long holiday trip. But now, since she is what some people call dead, she is closer to me than ever. Of course, I miss her physical presence bitterly. I miss her voice, the sound of approaching footsteps, but I have not lost her. And when my sense of loss becomes too great, I can always go to our meeting place at the altar where I receive the body and blood of my Lord that preserves my body and soul just as it has preserved her unto everlasting life. Do learn to love the altar as a meeting place (coughs) of your beloved who have passed within the veil. Here again the sacrament is the heart of our religion. The Blessed Sacrament links us not merely to Bethlehem and Calvary, but the whole world beyond the grave as well. For at the altar, the infinite is shrined in the finite. Heaven stoops down to earth, and the seen and the unseen meet. And the prayer, Samuel Longfellow, 1819-1892. And there will be part in this where as you hear the words, Oh, I wager, there will be a chorus and music behind it. God's trumpet wakes the slumbering world. Now each man to his post. The Red Cross banner is unfurled. Who joins the glorious host? He who no anger on his tongue nor any idle boast but our steadfast witness against wrong, he joins the sacred host. He who with calm undaunted will never counts the battle lost, but though defeated battle still, he joins the faithful host. He who is ready for the cross the cause despised, loved most, and shuns not pain or shame or loss, joins the heavenly host. Thou wast their rock, their fortress, and their might. Thou, Lord, their captain in the well-fought fight. Thou, in the darkness drear, their one true light, O may thy soldiers, faithful, true, and bold, fight as the saints who nobly fought of old, and win with them the victor's crown of gold. And when the strife is fierce, 
the warfare long steals on the air the distant triumph song, and hearts are brave again, and arms are strong. The golden evening brightens in the west soon, soon. To faithful warriors comes their rest, sweet as the calm of paradise, the blessed. Alleluia. Amen.